really a terrific win, a bounce back win on the road in a, in a very tough uh, trip for us. You know, coming up here uh, over the years, Siena <clears throat> you know, has not fared well up here. But, you know, I've said all along my team has been very resilient. Uh, it was an excellent scouting job by Coach Carter in one day. Thought we were very well prepared. The defense was terrific. I thought our offense picked up. And just a great win, you know, in an environment where it's been tough for us to win here. So, obviously, um, build on it. And uh, I think the guys will have a lot of confidence going into Manhattan. Questions for Odie or Kyle? Cody, points in the paint kind of jumps off the sheet here. Is this a team that you guys felt matchup-wise was pretty good for you guys inside? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, we understood they had a lot of size, a couple of 6'9", six, 6'10 six, guys. But, um, you know, our bread and butter has been the inside game all year. You know, Coach does a great job of calling sets for us inside. Uh, my teammates do a great job of getting me the ball inside. And I think I've done a pretty, go a pretty good job all year finishing inside. Um, so down the stretch, I, I was able to score and uh, able to put the game away. Yeah, you just you just address the importance of this win. I mean, we're losing streak and finally getting a road win. In the uh, it's it's just nice to have a road win. That's for sure. Um, you know, if we lose this game, we're kind of you know in the playing game almost automatically. Uh, so this kind of keeps us uh, above water. Uh, we got a tough game Tuesday, but uh, you know I'm sure we'll be prepared. Do you kind of consider this personally a bounce back performance for you? Stat wise, uh, I, I thought I played better tonight. You know, um, still missed a couple of chippy shots, just in and out. Um, but uh, overall, I thought um, my uh, my attitude towards the game was better. Just kind of driving the ball um, and just taking more um, in, in the paint shots instead of you know kind of pull ups. Bullarder on Hines were kind of balling away from three early, but then you kind of shut that off the rest of the game. Why did you manage to play them better? Yeah, just... after uh, the, the last media timeout over there. Uh, in the first half, you know, we just kind of said, you know, they don't, they don't want to sniff for the rest of the night because um, they're the only two that were hurting us at that point. Um, so we kind of really just keyed in them and shut them down. Owen had a pretty good game too. Was attacking the rim sort of a point of emphasis with the game plan today? I, I think Owen, this might have been his best weekend all year. You know, he's played absolutely phenomenal uh, Friday night. You know, he probably kept us in that game Friday night. Uh, today, you know, the stats don't really show for him, but uh, he got a lot of – a lot of tip balls, you know, a lot of good plays where he's getting getting the ball at the high post and making plays offensively. So he's he's been great this weekend. OG, you've had so many kind of nail biting games this year. Was it kind of nice to have a game where you were able to build a big lead and sort of cruise home a little bit? Maybe? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I guess it's an opportunity to get uh, you know guys who usually don't get a lot of minutes uh, some minutes. Uh, you know, Marcus Hopper got in there for a little bit, um, and then coaches also relax when we get a big lead. You know. Um, you know, he's able to just relax a little bit, which is always nice. Um, overall, um, the most important thing tonight was just to get a win. Uh, we need one in the worst way, and uh, we were able to execute down the stretch. And get that Did you feel that they were having, like, an oh no moment there after they went along, sort of without scoring any points, and you guys were pulling away there? Um, not really. You know, we were just kind of um, trying to execute our game plan even more, uh, just the inside outside game. I thought Odie did a pretty good job tonight of uh, drawing a double team and us moving them along and uh, attacking them on the other side of the paint. Guy, can you talk about your team's conditioning a little bit, rolling six guys this weekend and still kind of putting the two Tunisians? Um, that, that's not really you know, a question for us anymore. We only play six, seven guys, so we're just kind of used to it every night. Uh, Evan, Owen, uh, even Rob and uh, the big guys, they, we could run for days right now. Yeah, with that six-guy lineup, how does that affect you guys? Certainly, when you're looking at personal fouls, that to be an issue in how you play on the defensive end with that. You know, it's it's, uh, it's kind of the ultimate you know teacher. You know, if you if you play bad defense and reach, you're going to go sit on the bench, and then your the scoreboard's going to run up pretty quickly because you know we don't have that many guys. Uh, so um, we're kind of second in the nation in the country for a few fouls, I think, or somewhere up there. So uh, we're just we're just taught to play with our hands up and just chest them. Eight turnovers today. Finland's a big reduction from the last few games. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, okay. um, that's, you know, that just kind of says it in itself. You know, we've been focused on that since you know day one. We haven't really done it. Uh, the last couple of games have kind of killed us in turnovers, especially on the road. Um, I thought that was a difference today. We had 11 assists, eight turns. It's, it's perfect. Okay, thanks, guys. We'll take questions. Okay. Coach.
regarding the points in the paint, uh, did you really hammer away to you guys? Did we have to get the ball inside to OD, get the ball to run? Yeah, right? we thought going in, uh, Craig had watched a lot of film. He thought going inside was the way to go. We, um, we thought OD had a decided advantage. Um, you know, Manhurst is 6'5", and Heath is young. So, you know, we thought with Walters and uh, OD, we had a, an advantage inside. And we the stretch there late. I went to three or four sets. You know, we, we got baskets. That was big. Uh, the zone has been an ongoing thing for you guys, and you sounded pretty happy despite the win the other night with how the zone played. Can you comment on Well, how Mike, it the zone, today? as I've said all year, the zone has to be good for us to win because it keeps us out of foul trouble. And it essentially, I, I thought it was very effective, uh, kept Washington out of the game, most of the game. He, he started to get going the last eight minutes, seven minutes, but for 33 minutes, I thought the zone took Washington out. Now, it makes Himes better. And Bellardo hit those threes, but it ultimately, like I've been saying all year, you, you know, if you if you if you live with it, it ultimately is effective, and it was in this game. You know, after the way Bellardo played against you last year, Mitch, when he comes right in, I think he scored 13 points in a row. You're like, oh no, you know, this kid yeah. might take the game over. I mean, he won the game here on a buzzer beater and played very well at Seattle last year. He's a very good player, um, shooting the ball like that. Really, uh, you know, it, was, it got me worried very much. So, but I, I thought what we did, Mark, is. Um, <laughs> Got to the shooters better as the game went on, and uh, you know, holding them to 50 points is a, is a very good effort.